This lady's so cool. She wrote quite a few children's books, and we were just talking about the zoo and the gorilla. I don't. I, do you want to voice your opinion about what happened at the zoo, or do you rather? Well, I don't have a problem. It's a silverback giraffe, uh, silverback gorilla, yeah. and uh, the little boy uh, got into the pen. Yeah. He had to climb through quite a bit. Yeah. And his mom, unfortunately, was busy with. I mean, kids can you imagine take off. being the mom? Can you imagine being the mom and you're with these other kids? You're like, all right, little Johnny, looking at the whatever the gorilla, and they're like, oh my God, that's my other kid. I mean, it's crazy. But tell me, okay, so what kind of a gorilla was it again? A silverback? Silverback. He's there endangered, and yeah. he was on loan from another zoo. So it, it's heartbreaking to lose um, that gorilla. It was very heartbreaking, yeah, but, but Jack what if Hanna, something happened? Jack Hanna had it right. And if they had shot, you know, just tranquilized him, he would have probably been enraged and something could have happened. I think what they should have done in the first place is got all of the people away from exciting the gorilla. And I think what they did is amped him up. Because the people around him are probably screaming. Screaming and carrying That was on. my kid, I would have been screaming. Yeah, so you needed to get the people all away imagine. from the area and maybe you could have calmed the gorilla down, but they, they just, I think, made him more anxious. Wow. It's so sad all the way. It is sad. I think either way, either mm -hmm. way. Anyway. A child could have been hurt, a child could have been killed, the gorilla was killed, you know. Anyway, so do you write mainly about books, children's books, like involving animals, or do you write a little bit of everything? I think a little bit of everything. I have been on this show before uh, and wrote a historical, speculative historical fiction book. And then I have done a young adult book, and it's and another one's coming out called Chilled to the Bone. Cool. And Is it like like a teen, like Twilight yes, kind of? It's it'll teen be in, tween. It's called Chilled to the Bone, a ghost story, and it'll be Ooh, out in three weeks. Cool. I've got another children's book called uh, Dougal Dumbs and Dystopia, and that has a lot to do with again my background is learning disabilities, and so it's helping kids learn in a fun and positive way. And like I think math. that's awesome. Yes. And the same thing with this book. It is um, Katerina Ballerina and it is about a little giraffe who wants to be a ballerina of course, the title, and um, other people uh, say she can't do it. Why? Because she's klutzy or something? Yes. Or? Yes. And uh, then I have another one coming out for three to five year olds. It's about Clyde. Uh, it's a mini pony about a mini pony that actually was in Sanger, and we've uh, like a true story. It's a true story about a little cool. mini pony that was discovered abandoned, and he was starving. He had a broken jaw, and um, Troy Ford uh, fixed him, and our barn got Not him. Me. Yes, we got him, and he's doing. He's 25 years old. His uh, jaw is broke, he's eating, he looks great now, and so Sherry Rainwater's uh, barn has done a terrific job, and so I wanted to write a story about Clyde. That is really cool. So that's, what age is, is that one, the Clyde story? Three to five. Three to five, perfect. Yeah, because I got some, I got some family and friends that live out in the Sangre area that like have ponies and oh, yeah. goats and chickens and stuff like that. They would love that. All right, I have to keep my eyes and ears out for all that. So you have, how many books have you written? Oh gosh, I'm going. I mean, you have like a plethora, young, I mean, that is huge. Kids, yes. young adults, all that stuff. And I have another adult coming and it's called Bottoms Up and it's in the editing uh, process Bottoms right now. Bottoms Up, is that about a woman drinking? Uh, it's about wine, yes it is. Bottoms Up, you did it. I like that. And I'll then, buy all these books for my kids and the wine book for myself, of course. <laughs> and then I have a, a, an upcoming event, very exciting. Barnes & Noble is having this Saturday, uh, a cool. uh, June 4th. I am there at 10 o'clock, and I'll be signing copies of Katerina Ballerina. Oh, how cool. And Cowboy I'm Jack. Have to stop by. And some coloring of some pictures of Katerina and uh, be reading some of Katerina for the kids. And then their program, it's the summer reading program triathlon, starts at 11 o'clock. You know, it's funny, I just called Barnes & Noble the other day because I was laid off from work and I was think thinking of things that I could do with my one and a half year old and 
everyone just kind of stops with their story time hour and then everything picks up again now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, great. Now, now I'm going back to work, but I could do a Saturday. So it's this coming up Saturday, June yes. 4th, 10 a.m. at Barnes & Noble? I'll be there at 10 and okay. the, the reading program starts at 11. The reading program starts at 11, so you're going to be out there signing signing your books? Yes. And pictures and stuff. Katerina Ballerina. I, I mean, I think this is great. Your books obviously have a message. You know, when there's a kid, like my son, for instance, he's really short like me. And they're all, oh, you can't play football. Guess what? He beat everyone at, you know, running at his track meet, and he plays tackle football with pads. I mean, if you can believe in yourself, you could do anything. And that's what this is all about, believing in yourself and never giving awesome. up. Awesome. And I think I that there's it. a basketball player that's 5'9", a pro. See? So, yes, of course you can do anything you put your mind to. I know who you're talking about. I forgot his name. I don't name. know his name either. Because my husband said to my son, look, Rocco, this basketball player is 5'9". See, you could do anything. Yes, you can. Who cares about your size? 5'9 is actually really tall for us. <laughs> So, Katerina Ballerina, and then what's Cowboy Jack and Bunny? Oh, this is a Christmas story. That is a Christmas story. I did it for my grandchildren. Awesome. Um, it's about them uh, helping to save Santa on that very momentous uh, time of the year. Cool. Very special time. Well, and this is so awesome. They have uh, inventions. They invented a particular slingshot to be able to... Uh, shoot those presents into the chimneys and down they go so that is creative where do you get all your thoughts and your stories do you just kind of find a quiet place and drink coffee and let your imagination run wild i think what? my imagination runs wild all the time that's um, good yes i'm always for example the uh, black madonna is about the cathars and it's uh spec like i said speculative history and um it's you know trying to figure out what could happen and what did happen and kind of putting it together and also when the children's books you know as a um, school psychologist I saw kids with difficulties in math or difficulties in reading yeah. and difficulties in spelling or self-esteem or a lot of different things and so how can I make it a little bit more fun so that you're enjoying learning about math or learning about reading and so Dougal Dums will be a whole a uh, bunch of different books specifically about helping kids uh, learn how to enjoy school. That Much is awesome because my I'm telling you my son struggles and he's had to go to tutors and intervention and everything else so this is awesome and when he finds a book that he really loves and enjoys he gets so excited about it and he wants to read and you know Clovis I'm sure Fresno has it too there's something called AR accelerated reader mm -hmm. and once you find a series of books that you're excited about Let's get him excited about reading, Miss Linda. That's exactly right. All right, so give us all your info. If you can't, Barnes & Noble, 10 o'clock, go see Linda. She's going to sign books and story times at 11. But if they cannot go this Saturday, where, where can they find your books? Well, uh, they're at, on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple of places that they can find them. And my website is Linda Lee Kane at 2152 at gmail.com. That is awesome. Do you ever do appearances at uh, daycares and preschools and stuff? You know, I haven't, but I think that's a great idea. I'll you have can to talk to the publisher about doing Girl, that. Girl, you can make money because you could say, you could either say, pay me, or I have to get like at least five pre-order books. <laughs> and I will read to the kids, something like that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, <laughs> Linda, Lee K Linda Lee Kane. Oh, my God, say that three times. That's a tongue twister, That girl. is a tongue twister. We'll see you at 10 o'clock at Barnes & Noble. And once again, give us your email or, or whatever you can so we can find your books. Absolutely. Linda Lee Kane 8 at gmail.com. Awesome. That's easy to remember. All right, coming up, we're going to be talking to Denise Celebrating Life. It's National Cancer Survivors Day. And a friend who's an author, totally different, totally different kind of a book. But that's okay. He's really cool. We'll be talking to him next on CentralValleyTalk.com with Mike Briggs and Athena. Linda Lee Kane, everybody. Woo! Thank you. And let me present this to you, too, for your little ones. Thank you. You're welcome. Hopefully they'll read more. I have to get your signature. Okay. A real-life celebrity right here. Thank you.